It's time to pull in our 7 News medical expert to tackle your questions that you're asking on the 7 News Facebook page. Lots of questions coming in today. So we're going to start with Megan, who wants to know if you've already had COVID-19, is it possible to get it again? We suspect that there's some degree of immunity. Uh, whether that be three months or three years, we don't know. Uh, we've not seen any clear cases of reinfection. There may be prolonged symptoms, but not sure whether or not you could actually get reinfected. Diane is asking, does having type O blood help with not getting the virus? I read it in an article. Yeah, so I've seen that same article. I think there was a report from China that talked about people with type O perhaps being 35% less likely to have severe cases of COVID. Doesn't mean they won't get it. Type A perhaps having more severe. This is not uh, concrete. This right. is early uh, conversations and probably more research needs to be done on this topic. Jane saying, once someone tests positive, how long should they wait before going back to work, assuming they have no symptoms? So for First, depends on their employer. They may have certain rules, but in general, they're looking at either symptom or time. If you've had, you know, 10 days with no symptoms at all during that course since the uh, test was positive, perhaps you can return to work. If you have had symptoms, at least three days with no fever while not taking any fever reducing medications or improved symptoms and 10 days from that time of that diagnosis. Freeman is asking about the virus in wastewater. What do we mm -hmm. know about that? Yeah, so concern there, especially for the people that work at these facilities and whether mm -hmm. or not uh, they can can be exposed. The testing does show that there was some positivity there. We've not seen any cases where someone's infected from wastewater, and certainly we don't need to be concerned about that right now. And I did see CDC guidance that said perhaps seven oh, a week before infections spike in a community, if it's it may show up in the wastewater, which Correct. is really interesting. Correct, and which is why we have to be protective of those persons that are taking care yeah. of those facilities for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh, Roselle and Carrie saying, what are the early symptoms of COVID? Now that it's spreading more in the community, people want to know those symptoms again. Correct. So we go back to the fever. That may be the only symptom. You may not have cough. You may not have shortness of breath, but you could also have, as people have talked about, you know, a lack of taste or mm -hmm. you don't smell. Those may be things that you may need to recognize, maybe early symptoms. And then Jan finally is saying, is it true that people with an autoimmune disorder cannot be truly tested for the virus? So they should be tested for the virus. There's really no contraindication or reason why people with autoimmune uh, disorders should not be tested or cannot be tested. Please be tested because you may be saving your own life and certainly those that you come into contact with. All right, Dr. Cedric McFadden will be back next week. So if you have a question that we haven't tackled, make sure you head to the 7 News Facebook page and ask it right away.